guys. So, um, I finished Dreamer's Pool by Juliet Marilliard. I'm very excited that I got to actually finish Dreamer's Pool. I don't, I, I just, I, I'm just excited that I got to finish a book, honestly. I have not actually finished a book in a while. <laughs> So that's great. Yay, Shannon finished a book. Woohoo! So I finished that and um, it's very good. It's very character centric and that is very. It's very odd for character centric to work, but because this was a very lore based, folklore, fairy tale esque based plot. It just made sense for it to be about the characters and the characters are all learning something and you have this mysterious and basically what it's about is this mysterious fae comes and rescues the main character from being killed because she dared to stand up to some you know what that she some you know what person she has a grudge against this you know what person before she got locked up but now she really has a grudge against him and so but we don't really know everything that's going on this is from her like it's like her everything that's with her sections that it does character all it alternates between characters just three character point of view characters in this book that it alternates between and it starts with her and we don't know what's really going on and we don't know what's really going on like you know with her past until she tells a little bit of it to Grimm the other main character there's um excuse me in this book there is um Blackthorn Grimm and Prince Orin those are our three point of view characters and so we learn basically everything about them and it's very interesting to see just kind of how like things in their life slowly begin to make them mature and they become adults. Or in um, Blackthorn and Grimm's case, they just need to learn how to be people again because they have been locked up in prison for a very long time. And that has, and it's not even like modern prison, it's bad, danky, dirty, they're like, you know, living in filth prison. I understand there's probably still some of that around these days, but I mean, it's, it's not as widespread as we think it is. Like, this is like li literal medieval prison. <laughs> like, they're in a whole prison. <laughs> so, there's a lot of that going on. And so, it's, it's an interesting dynamic. And, and Blackthorn and Grimm have an interesting dynamic. And then they both have an interesting dynamic between themselves and Prince Orin, because Prince Orin is just, he's, he's a prince. He's not like a lot of princes. It's just how it is, and it's hard to it's hard for them to reconcile that because they have had bad experiences with nobility. Which I mean, it's not complicated. Like there's some interesting social socioeconomic dynamics in here, and it's not like the, the one thing I really like about this is it's not blatant. And we're gonna push this agenda because Juliet Marillard wants to focus on the care character she doesn't want she doesn't care what your what your paint your political opinion is she cares more about whether or not you're a good person and that's like basically like what this all revolves around like somebody who has principles somebody who just reaches out to people as a person and but one of the things that I also like about um, Grimm, for instance, like Grimm is very focused on, I want to, like Grimm and Blackthorn really, I want to make my own way. I want to gain my own thing, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to like basically make their own money. They want to earn their keep, basically. And one of the things I like about um, that presentation is it's not demonized, whereas a lot of authors will do that. They will demonize somebody's they will demonize that need for people to just become their own people, make their own way. And she also, like, she doesn't demonize their want to be alone. Like, even um, Blackthorn, kind of, like, even, there's small snippets of her past that's slowly being revealed to us that kind of shows us that she's always kind of wanted to be alone. Like, she wasn't, like, overly this outgoing personality. But she was also like this person who just, you know, she, she at one point she ate, was able to relate to people. Like she was recluse, 
but she wasn't, you know, uh, she wasn't not, she wasn't empathetic, or she wasn't, it, she was not unempathetic, she was not uncaring, she was not just in it for her. At this point, she is, because that's just what she had to do to survive, and so that's a, that in on itself is an interesting dynamic there, and I find it funny that Grimm isn't, because he was at that point and then she came in to the prison and suddenly he found somebody to live for just to help her stay sane. So that was, I mean, that that's an interesting um, plot point or character plot point in the um, story. And it's it's very good and to me. And I was, I was very pleased. So I'll give it a four out of five star rating only because... Um, could have been a little bit more interesting with the plot, but you know, you can, you get what you get, honestly, and sometimes there's only so much you could, if you're going to be character centric, you can't be too plot centric, or else you're going to have a book the size of Game of Thrones, <laughs> and that's hard to read, <laughs> it's hard to read Game of Thrones, it's hard to read a lot, it's hard to read a lot of things, like Words of Radiance, it's character and plot centric, and it's long. <laughs> There's, and that's one of the things that I've noticed. You kind of have to sacrifice. And so I applaud Juliet Marilliard Mer for actually like giving us something, get, like giving us an interesting plot to follow, and also giving us very interesting characters, and just being more philosophically rich in the way she presents social, socioeconomic problems and moral problems. I think that was a very good job on her. I'm very proud of her, and I also, I, here's a spoil, a really big spoiler alert here, one of the things that I really liked was that she made a point of saying, and it wasn't even particularly political, it didn't even particularly, like, present itself that way, or not even, like, really present itself as a, I'm going to make a political statement, no, she presented a situation that is completely counter like like the conclusion of that situation to our for our two characters Blackthorn and Grimm that these normal novel series are is about she made them come to a conclusion that is very great and very counter culture to how it is right now and I urge you to read that read this book just so you can see that, because I was so impressed with that. I was impressed with the humility of that, and I was impressed with just how much emphasis she put on you shouldn't be too blinded by hatred because you will jump to conclusions. And that's such a very good, like that's a very good social point and a political point, and just a point, and it's very, re very re relatable, and I don't know how many people actually got that. I don't know how many people actually even like her novel, because she dared to say that, and it just made my wonderful, and I'm gonna, and here's a hint, it's anti, it's anti, it's counter-feminist culture to me. The way it was presented, counter-feminist culture. The conclusion was counter-feminist culture, and I was just excited. So that's the end of my review, so have a wonderful day.